Good? Yep. Hey, so we're down in the crawl space again. And this is the HRV, that stands for Heat Recovery Ventilator. Uh, and it's made by Venmar, which is a company out of Canada. And this is their most economical line of HRV. Uh, it's a very small unit. It's designed just for crawl, um, for like uh, condos and apartments. Now this is a single family detached, but it is uh, a very small home. So this is going to provide plenty of air exchange for the size of this structure. Uh, basically, we hung it from the floor joist uh, using chains, and then each chain we took up some slack and put in a spring. So this is exactly how the instructions told us to install it. Uh, it came with the screws, so these are long wood screws for, for this application. Uh, my electrician had installed the controls upstairs, uh, but it's low voltage, so I brought the wires down, and I still have to staple them up. But they uh, they were all color coded, uh, so it was a pretty simple install. And I had my electrician put an outlet in this location, uh, specifically for the HRV. Uh, it all works. We tested it with the controls upstairs. Uh, so there's a main wall switch, which I'm going to be using to have this thing run on its low speed, which is 40 CFM. And then we also have an override switch, which is just a push button in the bathroom, which will kick this up to 80 CFM, but just for a limited period of time of whatever you select, whether that's 20 minutes, 40, or 60. So it's a pretty cool little unit. And what I'm doing is I'm going to run 4 inch PVC uh, throughout the crawl space here for my duct work leading to the different rooms, both supply and exhaust. That way the PVC is 100% airtight as opposed to the metal ductwork which you then have to use the aluminum tape or um, you have to use duct mastic and stuff like that to try to air seal metal ductwork and it never gets perfect. Well PVC is already really good. I mean when you mold those two together with the you know the cleaner and then the cement you've got uh, an airtight connection there. So I wanted to use PVC for my ductwork. To make that connection, because this is all rigid metal, 4 inch, that is connected, it's, you know, came on the HRV. So what I did was I went and bought a regular rubber reducer, and this is a 4 inch to 3 inch reducer meant for PVC. But because the outside diameter of PVC is larger than normal, I was able to squeeze the 3 inch end of the rubber onto the four inch metal duct line that came on the HRV. Took a little bit of effort, but it's not like I had to go and crimp the metal or disfigure it in any way. It just took a little bit of strength and then it, it went on and now I've, I'm gonna have the rubber making this uh, isolation for the vibrations. And that's great. Uh, and it also is another way of making something pretty near airtight with these connectors. Uh, so now, in the whole house, the most leaky part is going to be the HRV itself, where the metal connects to the metal here and stuff like that. Uh, out the back side are my two ports that will lead to the outside of the house. And in another video, I showed you those. So nothing's hooked up yet, but I'm going to have the supply of fresh air and the exhaust of stale air out this side. So it's facing the wall so that those runs are as short as possible because I'm going to have to insulate those runs. Once they're past the core, the heat exchanger, they've become tempered. So I don't have to insulate any of the PVC pipes inside the crawl space. I'm not worried about condensate on any of those. Speaking of condensate, there's going to be condensate coming out of this unit. It has a built-in pan inside and then out the bottom uh, there's a port and it, the HRV comes with this clear tubing and my uh, plumber put in a, uh, a drain down here but obviously it's higher than what we could work with. Uh, so the solution is to run a uh, small reservoir with a, a float switch uh, pump and it's just a very standard off-the-shelf item. Uh, anybody can go and buy any HVAC contractors familiar with how they work, where to, where to get them. So it's going to have a small reservoir, probably a quart size or so, 
where the condensate will drain and then whenever that fills up the little pump will kick on and pump the condensate over to the p-trap and then that will so now I'll show you the inside of the unit you just un loosen these two screws at the bottom and then fold it up lift it off and this is all a thick rubber right here so it creates a gasket and then inside uh, you can see it's a it's a plastic core uh, and it's, it's very thin plastic and that's what allows the heat to transfer between the two airstreams. The blue felt up here, these are just filters for the two airstreams when they come through. And they pass through in opposite directions and then go out this direction towards the rear of the contraction, um, sorry, the, the unit here, the HRV. And in the rear is where the fan is. So they get sucked into the fan and then blown out the back sides. So the back side ports are always leading out of the unit and the front ports are always leading into the unit. And this black plastic down here, this is the condensate tray that I mentioned. Um, so from both sides it can drain down. Uh, but the two airstreams never mix and that's what part of this gasket's about so that it seals um, across the whole unit and to its edges. Yes. <laughs>